always like this, then you just do it bad. <laughs> he collects toys, y'all. Toy. This is a toy in our house. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very nice toy. <laughs> Grand Rise, y'all. How you doing? We're at six. One more. And we'll get going. Peace, James. How are you? Do, 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 do. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see, we got Crystal. We got Miss Murphy. Um, looks like Marky is watching. We're at seven. There we go. Love that number. Does my split No. <laughs> if that's the case, I come with about eight myself. So, yeah. Okay. Hi, Miss Robin. How are y'all? How y'all be? How y'all be? Yep, we're at seven. Okay. I got to take a page out of my book because um, I guess a couple of y'all actually saw the um, post that I did at about five this morning. Um... Yeah. Handling disappointment. Um I don't handle disappointment well. I I just don't. Um I'm all of, people people know me enough to know the concepts and the platforms that I stand on. And the platforms that I stand on is really a kink in my armor. Because if you start talking about my platforms, man, I'm all over it. And, you know, a couple of my platforms are, you know, communal living, um, communal gardening, uh, polygamy, um, self empowerment, self defense. You you start talking about those things and you got me hook, line, and sinker. I I bite. I bite big time. Hi, Aisha. I bite big time. And I'm going to take a page out of my life to help you guys understand um, how to handle disappointment. Because you will always find yourself being persuaded from those eight mind hacks and you will be persuaded sometimes. You'll you'll nod and you'll give in. And further down the line, you will find out that either the person that sold you the bill of goods was a liar. Or the whole goddamn concept is a lie. Don't beat yourself up. Um, cry if you have to. Scream if necessary. Dance three, four boogies. Listen to some fucked up music. Take a shower. Sit down. Drink. Smoke. Do whatever you need to do. But the one thing that you do not do is take it out on yourself. <sighs> it's not you that messed it up. If you believed in that concept, that's courage. If you ran with the idea, that's courage.
if you help build the idea, that's bravery. If you are upright in everything that you did, you held your ground, you kept your word. Do not, do not take it out on yourself. Do not do it. Because then you end up beating yourself up for doing what you were supposed to do. Don't do that. You are supposed to believe in people. People are supposed to keep their word. Especially if they're close to you. You know, family, uh, really close friends, people that you've been acquainted with, folk that eat with you, sleep with you, ride with you. Sometimes you have to realize that people have agendas. Sometimes it takes longer for somebody's agenda to come to fruition than others. And sometimes you're just a cog in their machine. But you, if you were the one pushing the idea, you have to realize that you are the energy behind the idea. Oh, it happens to me. So, what happens when you take a battery out of something? Even if if it takes eight batteries, you pull one battery, it don't work. Sometimes we have to learn when to pull our energy from certain things and certain people. We are all just batteries. We give our energy to the things that we believe in, that we care for, that we agree with. Sometimes even things that we don't agree with. We give them great amounts of energy. Well, if the machine takes 15 batteries, you're just one of the 15. You take yourself out of the equation, it stops working. Even with 14 batteries in it, it won't work. So, when they tell you that the individual is not important, that's not true. One person can change the course of anything, anything, one changed everything, one birthed everything, so if one did all of that and you are a one, You can do it too. And don't be afraid of the change. Because sometimes that's what really gets people. It's the change. Don't be afraid of the change. Just make the change. Is it going to hurt? Sometimes. Is it disappointing? Probably. Does it work a nerve? Sure. But when you make the change, you can start again 
and build it the way you want to. I'll be the first one to tell you, I bought a bill of goods on a living situation that was a lie. It's a lie. And now I'm here to defend it by myself. Nothing I can do, but do it or find another place to live. Well, as much as I love this spot, and a lot of y'all who know me know I love my new house. I love this thing. I got my garden in the back doing well. I have established, but don't think that Fee won't put all them damn plants in pots and move all my shit the fuck up out of here quickly and as efficiently as I came in here. But I can do that because Fee prepares for shit like this. I prepare for disappointment because I know humans, I know black people, black people can't keep their word to themselves. So what the hell do I look like taking the word of black folk? No, not even the ones I love. Exactly. I'm almost to that non-attachment thing so damn bad it's. It's beyond me. And it and it's not me. People are making me detach from them because you can't keep your fucking word. I keep mine. And then to put myself in harm's way? Nope. After I've already sound the alarm? Nope. 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 Mm -mm. So before anything wiggly happens around here, I'm first and foremost telling y'all, ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm all right. I'm cool. I just don't do disappointment well. Because I don't disappoint people. I do my best not to disappoint people. But people find it necessary to disappoint me on a regular. Okay. Okay. But then when I when I back up, give you space, don't try to come in. Don't. Do not let them back in. I'm, I'm, I no longer try to see the good in people, especially the people close to me. I don't even try to see the good anymore. I see exactly what's there now. Good, bad, or indifferent. And quite frankly, I have to admit that I'm one of the more honorable people that I know on the planet right now. And that's disheartening. That's really, really disheartening. Because it, it, I can't believe anybody. I can't even believe the people closest to me. And they're the ones that you would think have gotten the lessons the most. Because they're the closest to me. But here's what Fee is not going to do. Girl, if people just did right, we, I don't even know. Do not beat yourself up when other people disappoint you. Because you did what was courageous and you did what was brave. You believed. You accepted. And you watched. From there, ain't nothing else you can do. Except change your course of action. And see to it that what happened never happens again.
And uh, brother was right. After you, <laughs> after you've consulted yourself, you've licked your wounds, go and polish your armor, and sharpen your sword, because the war ain't over. It's just a battle. That was just one battle. So, that being said, don't let your imagination run away with you. Many things are lost to our imaginations when we are lonely, when we are hurt, and when we are distressed. Calm your mind. Do your best to find your peace. Breathe. Most importantly, breathe. And if you can't calm down, sit down. If sitting down doesn't help your disposition, lay down. If laying down doesn't help your disposition, Take a shower. If that doesn't help your disposition, you need a big old walk in nature where there is nothing to be seen but natural. That'll get you. It'll pull you right back. It'll pull you back every time. Again, if you can't pull your disposition back, if breathing is not helping you corral that anger, sit down. If sitting doesn't work, lay down. If laying down doesn't work, go take a shower. If showering doesn't work, you get your ass in nature and you be there. You be there until you get bored. Then, when your mind is clear, and only when your mind is clear, because you cannot think clearly when you are angry. I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't care who told you you could. You cannot think. Clearly, when you are angry, period, period, you want to talk about a bunch of fucked up bad decisions you made, ask yourself if you made them when you were angry. We always do shit when we're angry that we're sorry for later. How about don't do it? By trying not to get angry. It's okay to be disappointed. It's okay to be discombobulated. But angry? Can't think. Can't think. And I need you to think. I need you to think your way through things. I need you to think your way out of things. Because only when you think it can you win. You can't even fight angry. Ask a real martial artist. We sit there and watch people try to fight angry. You can't do it. You lock up. You don't move as fast. You can't move swiftly. There, there's no unity because there's no mind-body harmony. There's definitely no mind-body-spirit harmony if you are angry. So, I am going to crawl. <laughs> I said I wasn't even going to do one of these this morning because I feel like it. Sometimes I just don't feel like dealing with people. But I said there were people here that need me, that need my voice, that need this. And those are the people that I am trying to serve. I give a rat's ass about everybody else, especially today. 
So, that being said, this is Fundy Fee, y'all. I always got my ear to the street, my ear to the street, my ear to the street. I'm going to crawl in my bed since I haven't slept in 24 hours. I'm going to try to get some rest. And maybe that's my problem. I'm tired. I love y'all. Peace and blessings. I hope this helped. I don't think it helped me too much. <laughs> maybe it did. I don't know. I love y'all. Peace. Salam. Shalom. Hotep. Take care of yourself today. Be good to yourselves.